Good morning guys. The vehicle, no crank, no start, no power at all, as you can see in the video. Uh, when I try to unlock the door by the remote control, it doesn't respond at all. Yeah, I have to unlock the door by the key, get in the car, and as you can see the key in, in this end right now. Turn on the key, got nothing and try to start also nothing okay now we think about the ignition switch and no function at all it's same thing same symptom like this and okay before we try to find something we have to make sure if we think about the ignition switch open the thing here to ask check in the back of ignition switch Titration time. Yeah, put the key here and try to find something that the thing no need the key on. For example, like the light right here. Okay, I got two things. It doesn't work right now. The key remote and the light here, no work. And what about? Another thing, no need power. Uh, no need the key on. Yeah, that the power switch. I think you can see. I hear some click, but no moving at all. Okay. And what about the headlight? The headlight also no need the key on. Okay. The headlight in on position now, guys. We go out there with the key on hand because all the window now it uh, on. <laughs> We don't need to make sure the vehicle lock the key. Yeah, open and then go out there to see if we have the headlight on or not. Okay guys, as you can see out here with the headlight on, the headlight and the light inside the car and the power seat, no need the key on. It still work. But we have three things no working at all. So now if we still think about the ignition switch we might get wrong direction 2005 infinity g35 here the battery located first very important i would like to check the battery first if we try to find something but there is no battery completely dead and we just raising some okay first thing i would like to use the tad light first touching on the battery terminal as you can see my tad light is light up uh, hopefully you guys see in the video okay and then i will touch my tad light on the battery cable yeah as you can see i have the Tad light light up here. That we have the continuity. We have the, the battery still, but I don't know reading good reading voltage or not. We should not care about that right now. Okay, and now I try to check the main ground from the battery to the body. If it broke the main ground, we have no power at all for the vehicle or we have a broken um, the power wire it's the same thing okay i use the tad light put on my uh put on the body ground somewhere okay i got here above the vehicle shock okay right now i have the tad light connect to the ground and touch the battery yeah we have the power that means we don't have broken the main ground and here we still have power and think about why we still earlier as you guys can see i tap for the power seat and inside the light and the headlight we don't have anything work and forget about ignition switch and we i will focus on 
the main crown and uh, main ground and main power from the battery as you can see over here we have the fusible link right here some feel right here like uh, this one like 120 amp and the one right here 80 maybe yeah it's hard for you for me to read and the one on this right side here 100 blah blah we have all four or five uh, fusible link right after the positive cable I believe the fuel or something like that broken as you can see I will get you guys a closer hopefully you guys see in the video because I have just only one hand right now yeah I got you guys closer to the positive battery terminal and you can see the fusible link right here this one uh, 120 m and this one maybe 80 and uh, two more in the middle and as uh, you can see the last one here seem like the melted as you can see on the cover here i see it's uh, get the melted or burn burning something like that you see this one's still clear this one's still clear and this one's still clear but this one the last one okay we focus on this or oh anyways i see from the connector down there guys yeah hope you hope you guys see in the video the connector down there look like the yeah we have the hole right here i can see the metal in there but then you can see from here we have no power at all and what about here yeah i see the wire two wire come to this connector one that it may be white blue another one i see black now but i don't go to the wiring diagram yes yeah look like the wire got melted this year yeah i see some corrosion okay guys i want to do this as you can see how this feels still alive or not by I don't know this cap is easy break. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, I can put this here. My screwdriver here to open it. Okay. And my satellite still connect to the vehicle body ground and then you can see yeah the satellite lay up on the battery. And what about this fuel? Yep, I touch on top of uh, the side, top size, we still have the light up. Also the bottom. Yep, that means this fuel is no broken yet. And I touch from inside here, it's still working. But anyway, I see some something wrong with here. Look like a bad connection and get melted here again yeah you can see the connector broken here melted and i can see the metal in here but no light up at all and even i can pin on the wire here let me pin on the white wire and as you can see yeah we have power on the white wire guys yep see and what about the black one on here yeah it's just so long in the video guys okay anyways we don't need to try we first i would like to uh take this fusible link up and see how the connector look like first the connector negative battery And as you see, should so have the cap on hand, cover that just in case the negative cable is popped back on 
to touch in the terminal and you might get a trouble and get short something the cable up first and this one 12 or yeah maybe 12 millimeter yeah as you can see the cable go direct to the the starter and we have I need I I would like to take this off first yep take this up stay away and uh, yeah just put the nut right there another one maybe yep 13 yep oh, here yep we don't need so anyway I have the fusible link already take off from the battery terminal and uh, we have two connector here see this connector seem like not easy to take off guys I will off the camera and take it up and show you guys how the connector look like this connector seem to be good condition but the black one as you can see even this one is sticking there in the case it caught by back connection and it gets melted the connector and even right here as you can see yeah right here one it came up that mean it no connected at all no connection at all to the 10, uh, 100 m field okay we found the problem okay that's it guys in the video quick check here found the problem okay that's it guys thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye